Hi, I'm Tyler Colt. I'm 16 years old. I live in Redondo Beach, California, and I am a singer-songwriter. I play guitar, both acoustic, electric, I sing, play drums, and I play bass. I've been playing guitar, actually, for 11 years now. I've been playing since I was five. So, pretty long time, I actually played, I mean, I've always really kind of sang, but I've never really sang, I guess, professionally. Um, I've sang since I was like nine, you know, I sing in the car and sing in my room and stuff, sing in the shower or whatnot. And I actually really started kind of singing, I guess you could say professionally. Like three years ago, I really got into singing early, you know, singing and playing my guitar, really got into that kind of stuff, which is really awesome. So that was probably around the time period that I've been doing stuff. So I've been acting for like two years now and I really started acting because it was a kind of a way for me to, you know, get some pocket cash without having to, you know, get a full-time job and, you know, I actually turned into more of like something that I like. Come on, detective. Don't tell me you've never had the munchies. When I act and stuff, I get to be someone that I'm not. And it's cool because you kind of get out of your everyday situations and you're into a new situation where like you can do really Whatever you want, there's no wrong answer. There's always another take, another thing you can do. You know, people that really influenced me, I say one would have to be Dave Grohl, because you know, he's such a, he's a great, passionate person, and he's just so successful, you know, he's prevailed himself so much after all he's been through. You know, being in Nirvana and the Foo Fighters, is, you know, is just really such an achievement, because they're both really, really impactful bands on the, you know, rock world, and you know, after being through, you know, Kurt Cobain killing himself, it's really, it's amazing how he's, you know, he's prevailed so much. Um, you know, I like a lot of bands. Like, I'm a very mixed person. I love lots of types of music. But some of my favorite bands, I'd probably say, would probably be the Foo Fighters would be one of them. Uh, Blink-182, I love Van Halen, you know, it's just crazy how he shreds, you know. I like a little bit of metal in the mix there on there, like some Pantera, some Metallica. That's always awesome. You know, the Killers, I love the Killers. Uh, Green Day, all those really punk, you know, kind of pop punk bands and still some with some rock kick to it, you know, I really like, I like that kind of style, I like the, you know, just the way everything kind of flows together, it just, it pits together nicely and it really appeals to me, so. Favorite thing to do would definitely be hang out with my friends because we do a lot of stupid stuff together and, you know, it's a lot of memories that I'm going to definitely cherish for, like, the rest of my life. You know, I also just like, you know, going to the beach. I live like right here, so. People say, you know, don't you get sick of the beach? And I go, you know, not really. I mean, it's the beach. How do you get sick of it? You know, that voice crack. But anyways, you know, I love to go snowboarding. I mean, it's seasonal, which kind of sucks, but when I get the chance to, dude, I'm on the slopes like 24-7. I love snowboarding. Uh, favorite superhero? Batman. Who doesn't love Batman, am I right? <sighs> Batman. <laughs> um, don't tell me why. In truth or dare, I would definitely pick dare most of the time because, you know, I'm I'm not ashamed of publicly humiliating myself. So, um, so I usually pick dare all the time because, you know, people usually tell me to do stupid stuff and I will totally do it because I am stupid. Oh, the video, the video, I think it went really, really well. Coming from someone who's had a little bit of acting experience to know how like how you know frustrating it can be to not get the shot you want, it's it's awesome. Now the people that I met there was so great. I mean, I had two of my really good friends with me, but everyone else is there just so nice, so awesome. The the two girls that were literally the main girls, Oksana and um, Bridget, are really really nice girls. You know, they're so they were just so fun to hang out with, and everyone there, the whole cast was awesome. You know, it was more of like fun than being a set, but it was still a set at the same time. If you kind of know what I'm saying. Favorite girl crush I'd probably say would be Taylor Swift, you know. 
too swift as the homegirl. She always gets her heart broken, but you know, I'm still here, so you won't get your heart broken. Follow me on Twitter, Taylor. Tyler Colt Music. It was my first time in the studio, but I think I did pretty well. Uh, you know, I followed directions pretty well, and you know, Jared and Chris, they're just, they're just total goofballs, so you know, we had our fun in there. Um, I remember Jared would make me laugh all the time, he'd make me laugh. They're really awesome guys though, you know, they helped me, helped me come so far from, from you know, where I was before. And you know, Chris, great, great at producing the song, great, uh, you know, studio engineers, awesome. So lucky to, you know, know both of them now. You know, they're just more family now than they are, you know, just associates, which is awesome. So it was really fun in the studio, really fun to do that. I can't wait to go back in there with them. Now I know. Yeah, so you know, I, what I really want to do is, you know, just kind of really put good music out there, you know, kind of give my twist on, you know, the whole pop rock scene. Just give back to the fans, you know, they're giving me all the support. I want to give them back good music. I want to write some good music, you know, they want to listen to because I, I listen to some songs myself and I'm like, I could listen to the song on repeat forever and I wouldn't get tired of it. And that's the kind of music I want to write. I want to write music that gets you jazzed up, gets you excited, gets you hype, hyper, you know, gets you want to do things, gets you want to up and moving, gets you out of that sad mellow mood to that excited you know like you know what it's gonna be a good day to be kind of mood so that's you know that's really what I'm gonna do I could do a pretty good Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Yeah. I gotta get into it though. I gotta do the. I'm Arnold. I'm looking for Sarah Connor. Get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs>